off rep, superstars, media. My people, my people, make we laugh this man they call Madobugo. <laughs> Where are they now? Madobugo, Madobugo. <laughs> make we not hear this one. Our prime minister then put them out. Our prime minister say make we laugh the man they call Madobugo. In Toxi, when the lies and propaganda against the Biafra prime minister was flying. Today, where are they? Where are they now? The man they call Madobugo, Madobugo. <laughs> if you are ready, make we laugh. I'm small. Madobugo, Today is your day. Madobugo, in the bam shut up there <laughs> in the bam ba <laughs> madoburgo madoburgo <laughs> my people for those who cannot hear the beautiful language of biafra i will break it down for you <laughs> permit me i almost forgot that we have international audience Biafrans around the whole world who were even born in those foreign countries and they have forgotten their mother tongue so today i will take you know time to break it down or to decipher the language from Biafra language to my people to english let us hear this man this man used to claim he was a soldier standing side by side with our leader, Mazen Namdekano. Madubugo, this man you are seeing here, he claimed he was the most loved. He claimed he was his, the favorite soldier of Namdekano. He even claimed he was a brother in arm that when the Zoom military came to catch Namdekano in 2015, you would see this man then. He was a young man, Madubugo. He was also arrested with Namdekano, but now we now know they are the sabotage was who pretended to be freedom fighters they were the ones that smoked out a in 2015 but the man's name is madobugo now he's angry so a few months ago he was claiming that Anam the Kano instructs him he is the spokesperson of Anam the Kano he is the mouthpiece of Anam the Kano anything he says the people must listen anything he says Biafrans must obey because he is the spokesperson of Anam the Kano he says Simon Ekpa is a criminal he says Simon Ekpa is a small boy he says Simon Ekpa is a rogue he's a small teen in Finland going in a gog, go in a wall. That Simon Epa is not respected because he is doing it at home. They call him a criminal and a fraudster. Listen to this discussion. Today was a day he came with a direct message, an order, according to him, from Madame de Cano. So he's angry, he's provoking. You know, we call it bamba. Where, where is the bamba? It means you're angry, you're provoking. You speak with your lion heart. Obiago, you speak like a lion. You roar with thunder when you are speaking. It's a sign to show you are angry. It's a time. It's a sign to show you are ready to release the beast in you. So sit back, relax. Listen to this man they call Madobugo. His name is Madobugo. Listen to him the way he provoked and gave out this message. He claimed he saw Anam the Kano in the DSS detention, and he was so angry he did not speak to anybody. Or until he got home to release this message. Raw life coming from our leader, Enam De Kano. If you are ready, I will decode it, decipher it in English. Let's go there. Listen. <laughs> he said, Was there any time he said they should do sit at home in his name? Was there any time Oyendu Mazanam the Kano, our leader, our eternal leader, His Excellency Oyendu Mazanam the Kano said they should do sit at home in his name? Was there any time he said that? Let's continue. <laughs> Boom. 
home. The reason why Nam the Kano is also angry with the DOS, the Directorate of State, is that he told them as well to stop sit at home every Monday. For those who don't know, sit at home is something we the beer friends, the 80 million beer friends, we observe every Monday. We say we will sit at home. We will we say we will be stubborn to the zoo government. We shall be rebellious to the zoo government. We shall only skip to the loo of the Biafra Republic government in exile, headed by the Prime Minister Mazi Ekpa Simon and Joko. So every Monday we stay at home. We call it the Mazi in Amdekanu's day. For the fact the zoo government they kidnap our leader from Kenya. For the fact the zoo government they are still in custody of our leader Oyendo Mazi Namdekanu in Kenya. Oh Lord, I'm going spiritual. I'm going spiritual, Lord, please. I came to laugh in this one. Lord, please. Do not allow me to lament in this one. I just came to make it do a satire, to laugh. Don't make me go spiritual, oh Lord, please. Guard my tongue. Guard my tongue. Hey, God. God want me to lament on this one, my people. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm, Lord, please, please, Lord, please. I'm here to just have fun. Okay. So, sit at home means every Monday, the beer friends, we sit at home. We do nothing. We say no to the government of Nigeria. We show them that we are disobedient to them. That we only have one government. We only have one prime minister. And we only have one leader in the absence of Mazinam the Kano. That leader is Simon Ekpa. And a way to show solidarity, we are saying every Monday, we day house giddy giddy bam. We the sit down for house. We shall not go outside. We shall stay at home. Nobody can force us to go to work every Monday. We tag Monday, Mazi in Namdekanu's day. It's a day to remember our leader, Mazi Namdekanu. It's a day to show the zoo government of Nigeria that you are holding somebody. You are holding our son. You are holding our leader. You are holding a man we love. And because of that, we shall be rebellious to the system of Nigerian government. So every Monday is very special. We the Biafrans, it is only done in one country, Biafra land. It has never been done in the world that for three years and counting three years and counting the people the 80 million people within a so-called country within the confines of a so-called country called nigeria we are saying no we are not part of you britain made us part of you but today we are declaring we are not oh my god hey, i'm going spiritual again my god have mercy lord please have mercy i don't want to go spiritual on this one sit at home monday's special day it's a day we tell the whole world who is in control, and it is the Biafra government. Mazi Simon Ekpa is the one that told us. Mazi Simon Ekpa, the Prime Minister, and his cabinet, they told us to do sit at home every Monday. It means stay at home. Do not go outside. Don't go to work. Don't go to the marketplace. You stay at home and observe your silence for Namde Kano. And we shall keep on doing this until our leader, Namde Kano, is released. So this criminal you are seeing here who is looking angry, he's pretending that he got a message from our leader, a man that we sit at home for every Monday. He's claiming he has a message from our leader. He's saying, tell them he's angry. Tell them not to do sit at home any, anymore. And the DOS, those who we call IPOB Nigeria Limited, those who were under the affairs of Fernando Kano, those who betrayed their leader, those who we just heard were paid $9 million to betray their leader. They are the ones this man is claiming he has a instructed that why are they still doing sit at home i hope i've been able to paint a better picture for all you out there who are wondering how come this guy is shouting that's the way we talk when we are speaking with authority the beast in us will come out do not seem as being too you know aggressive that's our nature africans don't speak like gentlemen we are not gentlemen we are lions you are, when you come to africa that's where the gods they are bold so when we speak sometimes we bring the beast out of us to the foreigner sometimes to the western world they think oh this guy is so aggressive no he's not being aggressive it's just like a verb you say a verb is an action word we the beer friends we the africans 
Christians, we are an, an embodiment of we are an embodiment of what they call the verb. When we speak, we speak with action. We roar like the lion. There are so many animals in the jungle. The zebra does not roar. The monkey make noise, but they don't roar. But the lion roars. So because we are the lions, we are the kings of this earth. We are gods on earth. We run this wall. So when we speak in anger, you will hear that thunderous voice. This goes out to those out there who, who mistake us. When we are in the workplace, they mistake and say, this guy, he's so aggressive. He's raising his voice. That's the way we speak. Don't be scared of that voice. That's the way we speak. So let's continue. Listen. Boom, hold on there. That's why he's angry. <laughs> That's why Namdekano is angry. He's angry with the DOS. This man is trying to use a reverse psychology. He wants to pretend as if the DOS they are in control. So he's saying that Namdekano is also angry with the DOS, the Director of State, because they are still observing sit at home. They are pretenders. They know they don't have the power of the sit at home. They know it is Simon Ekba that the people, the 80 million Biafrans, gave that authority, gave that dominion over them. He said, Oyendu is angry with DOS, but that's a lie because the DOS, they don't have the power to call or to end the sit at home. If they had the power to end it, they would have ended it three years ago because they were the ones that connived and colluded with the Nigerian government to kidnap Namikano in the first place. So now that Simon Ekba has called for sit at home and for three years, we the people, we are so glad, we are so happy to sit at home every Monday. The naysayers say, oh, Oh, we are going hungry. They say the economy is down. But last time I checked, it is the only Biafran kingdom that is not crying about hunger. The other tribes, the other nations within that so called Nigeria, they are crying that they are hungry. They are saying, Ebim Pawao, respect to my Yoruba brothers, but you also cry, say, Ebim Pawao, we are hungry. But we, the Biafrans, we are not hungry. Despite every Monday we sit at home. That's the discipline we, we have as Biafrans. We always obey the class call when our prime minister speaks we all listen so this man wants to apply a reverse psychology he is trying to scold the dos he is trying to smack the dos he is trying to insult the dos that how come you guys are still observing the sit at home despite our leader enam the Kano has said we should not observe the sit at home dos Enam the Kano is angry with you. DOS, Enam the Kano is mad at you. DOS, Enam the Kano has sent me to you. So I am angry and I am telling you the way it is. I will not mince my word. You have made Enam the Kano to be angry. How come you are still observing? Sit at home. That's the game he's coming with. They call it a reverse psychology. He is trying to fool the people of Biafra so that we will think that our leader, Enam the Kano, is still communicating with the DOS. But now that you have seen the role, their leader the, or their lawyer, the one they call it Fanny Ejiofo, for, he has been sacked by Enam the Kano. And if you look closely, if you look at the left shoulder of this man, you will see a picture portrait there. You will see the face of Ifanye Jofo. That tells you he's in the office of Ifanye Jofo. This thing he's doing is a script that him and barrister Ifanye Jofo they came with. But he wants to pretend like he's angry. He wants to pretend like he's dismayed. He wants to pretend like he's annoyed with the DOS because they have the mantle of leadership. They have the power they have the authority they've been given the mandate the delegated authority by Enam the Kano that's the 419 he came with some few months ago but today both him he was disgraced at the law court both him and Ifan Ejofor Ejofor was sacked as a legal counsel of Enam the Kano so that shows you today that these guys they are pretenders but back then when they were showing their relevancy back then when they were pretending like they have the power back then when they were claiming they were the ones that have the ears of Nam the Kano back then when they said they were the most trusted back then when they said everything was done and dusted back 
then when they said it's only them that gets you know information from an Abdekano, back then they tried to say Sabonepa is the problem back then they say Sabonepa is a criminal back then they say Sabonepa is working with the Nigerian government back then they say Sabonepa was working with Tinubu back then they say Sabonepa was working with Atiku back then they said that Sabonepa was a criminal that they paid him money but today you have seen the result Today, you have seen who is winning. Today, you have seen who is laughing last. Simon Nekba is the man, my people. Oh my God, have mercy. Lord, please guard my tongue. Oh my God, please, Lord. I only came to make a satire. Lord, please. This video was supposed to be a laughing one. But God wants me to give out a message on this one. Anyway, who am I to go against the God of Biafra? May thy will be done. But please, Lord. Please. <laughs> Let us just keep some soft. Today the flesh is weak. It's morning. <laughs> Lord, please. Calm down, Lord, please, please. Not to do today. Maybe tonight. When I do a show tonight, Lord, probably the beast in me will be released. But not today, oh Lord, please. Allow thy son to remain calm. Thank you, Lord. Let's continue. But may thy will be done. I cannot go against the gods. May that will be done. But I'm just pleading. Allow me to remain calm. As calm as the water. Let's continue. Listen. Boom. He said from the last announcement. I'll take it calm. I have to. From the last announcement. Mazen Namdekano made. Oh my God. He said he wants to tell them that the message I bring to you is from Barista Ifanye Jofo. And it's to let you know that whatever Barista Ifanye Jofo tells you, it comes from me. Oh my God. It means a Jofo has a delegated responsibility. He is more like an advocate for Nnamdekano. He is the one speaking on behalf of Nnamdekano because since he's been held in the DSS dungeon, it means that anything we hear from Barista Ifai Ejofo, we should see it as the voice of Mazen Nnamdekano. This is what this man is saying here. Even though he's angry, he's, you know, provoked, but that's what he's saying. But I just told you, when you look towards his left side, or if you're looking at the right side of your screen, you will see a picture portrait. In the picture, there is a face of somebody. The person you see in that picture is Barista Ifai Ejofo. He's a lawyer. You can tell that's his office because this man cannot have been in his house and have the picture of another man. So he tells you he's speaking from the office. He's been tutored. He's being guided by Ifai Ejofo, the man who said everything was done and dusted. He claimed the case of Enam Dekano was all done and dusted. But till today, the DSS, they are still holding our leader, Enam Dekano. Let's continue. <laughs> Boom. Also, he said the message that Aloy Jemako sends out is the message sent by Nambi Kano. Well, that one, to call a spade a spade, I will say yes, because today Aloy Jemako has been vindicated. Today, Aloy Jemako is the one leading the legal team of Nambi Kano while Ifanye Jofo has been sacked. And also, in the ultimate analysis, oh my God, oh Yibo, in the ultimate analysis, when you look very well, Aloy Jimako is the one, after we gave him some coded message, he took that message in a song. I'm not here to sing the song anymore. You go and check my old vivid videos. You will hear the song in a coded message. In that song, I told Aloy Jimako. I can reveal it now because it's already done. I told him to tell Enam the canon that the new dimension he was preaching about, we are now in that new dimension. For those who are listening to me for the first time, I will sing just two stanzas, just two lines, two stanzas in that song. I said, Aloe Jimako, one name, 
Oh lo lo lo, eji ma ko ho, eji ma ko. If you see them, they can wo. Tell them say ho. Oh lo 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 lo, eji ma ko ho, eji ma ko. A new dimension yo. Na him we de so ho. Oh lo 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 lo, eji ma ko ho, eji ma ko. Hello, eji ma ko ho. One name o. Oh lo lo lo, eji ma ko ho, eji ma ko. That was a spiritual music list with some coded message encrypted and the only person who could decrypt that message is our prime minister master simon ekpa aloy jimako because he is the one to carry it to nam the canal and also our leader master nam the canal so just like a square myself Aloy Jimako, our Prime Minister, and Enam the Kano, they were the only ones that could decipher that song. And when Aloy Jimako told Enam the Kano the coded message in that song, he now knew that the dimension he was being prophetic about has come to pass. And since then, when you see our leader in Oyendo Mazenam the Kano in court, he has been smiling, he has been talking, he's been doing fine. Even though he is smiling to an extent. As a spiritual man, I, I can tell I could see the beast in him because someone like me, you see him smiling, but I told you about me. When I'm smiling, that's the time I am most dangerous. When I'm smiling, I am dangerous. I am angry. When I'm laughing, in fact, stay away with, give me an arm's length, an elbow room. If you're into basketball, elbow room, make way. So those of you seeing the pictures of Nam the Kano in court, you are saying, oh, he's looking so handsome. My God, he's looking so healthy. He looks so fine. He's a handsome man. He looks so fresh. To you, to the lay eyes, the naked eyes, you see a man who is smiling but to me i see a warrior who is taking him his time because he knows he's ready to let the beast out so when you see those pictures i placed of Enam the Kano in the past two weeks you will see the way i did his face that was a coded message i know our pm got it because he's smiling to the naysayers. Nobody will be in the hands of their enemy and smiling. To Fiakwa. Nobody will be in their, in their hands of, of their captors. And you are smiling. How can, how can you say, oh, he's in court. He, he's looking nice. He's looking handsome. He looks very healthy. The naysayers, the deaf, the dumb, and the blind. That's what they saw. But people like us, I tell, I can tell the spirit of a warrior. So to the lady who told me, oh, please oh, stop putting our picture of Nam the Kano this way. Stop making him look this way. It's because you are looking for a canal in a view. If you're a spiritual soldier, you would have understood why I painted his picture that way. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, go to my videos. I think it was last week. You will see the way I depicted our leader. Don't tell me I'll be held captive by, by, by my enemies who are trying to buy me, who are trying to take my life, and I'll be smiling and I'll be sleeping and feeling good. No. What you are seeing is to show you that he is strong, but deep inside, I depicted the face of how he really feels. That you idiots, you are still wasting time. You wasted three years. You left him in the DSS for, for three years to rot. You claim you believe in command and control. The DOS! You believe in command and control. You left him to rot for three years. 
the first thing he did was give you an instruction to give Simon Epai a slot in Radio Biafra. The very first week we saw him in the DSS custody. But you rebuked your leader. You say you believe in command and control. The apex, the leader at the apex, he gave a command. Your ogre at the top, as the zoo will say, he gave a command. And you disobeyed it. Yet, on soji man, President is saying he believes in the DOS, he believes in command and control. But your leader, the man you say is your leader, he gave a command, a direct order. Give Simon Akpa a slot in Radio Biafra. But you said no. Over, the, over your dead body, will Simon Akpa speak in Radio Biafra? So our leader is not happy with these guys. But the moment he knew that the coast was clear, the moment he knew that Simon Epa is now in control, the moment he knew that we are now in a new dimension, he felt good about it. He felt good. And now you see him in, you know, live in public, he's smiling, he looks very healthy, according to you. But what I see is, I see a wounded dragon trying to find the best way to, to break free. And show his enemies the real him. You, can, you guys don't understand. You guys are. You guys. <laughs> you guys aren't ready. Let's continue. Okay. The the message from Barrister Maxwell is a message that Nam the Kano is sending out. So when you hear a message from Barrister Maxwell. It's coming from Mazen and the Canon. Let's continue. Boom! He now landed and said the message that comes from Barista Chukwemeka. <laughs> the man behind this, that picture you are seeing there. The man in that picture. So can you see how clever this guy is? He was trying to juxtapose everything, putting truth and lies. We call it true lies. True lies. They sound truthful, but they are lies. Because over time, we now see that if I and Jofa was sacked by Namde Kano, sometimes you have to keep your enemies closer. While they are close to you, you are observing. You are looking left and right. When the coast is clear, you will now bring out the dagger and put it into the, their chest. But while the coast is not clear, you bring them closer and you give them a beer hog. Hold them close, but keep on observing. The moment our leader knew that the coast was clear, the moment he knew that the new dimension he preferred. Oh my God, ah, you guys, I will not repeat myself. Let's continue. Also, the conference. Listen. I want to give a fortune. Okay. In here now, one today, who? Okay. All of you, old man, a memory is a big one. Where can I borrow me? Don't know this to a criminal in London. Hey. He said, now, all I want to tell you guys now, the authority from Nambicano, all of you that knew where the water came from. Go and gather the water because you are all following a criminal in Finland. You are following Simon Ekpa, a criminal in Finland. Now he has landed. After saying, oh, he is the voice. He is the ear of Enam the Kano. He has the authority of Enam the Kano. He has the blessing of Enam the Kano. He mentioned all the legal team. When they speak, they are the voice of Enam the Kano. And now suddenly he now said, all of you that know where that water was looking from. Go down there and sort it out. Those of you following the criminal called Simon Ekwa. He called our prime minister a criminal. That is it. That's to show you those who kidnapped and the Kano. Because Simon Ekwa till date is the only one fighting for the freedom of Nnamdi Kano. Simon Ekpa till date is the only one that promised the whole world. He promised Nigeria that he will make the kidnapping of Nnamdi Kano more expensive than releasing him. I repeat, he said, holding Nnamdi Kano in your DSS dungeon, he vowed to God he will make it more expensive for the Nigerian government than to release Nnamdi Kano. 
and today before your eyes what are we saying the nigerian government they are panicking they are sweating they are fidgeting they are going in circles they are parambulating everywhere they are finding a way to appease us they want to cajole us they want to entice us with the state they say oh please come 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 we have a state for you we have a state for you or lose state and your mass state it is state the choice make a choice and it's yours <laughs> that's the game that's the game of the caliphate you need to learn to understand the game they know the music has changed they want to find a way to release them the canon because him being there is now a problem it's now a problem because sometimes the solution to your problem is that thing that you are holding back that's the solution but now it's too late the days of dialoguing is gone that pastor about three years ago he told the nigerian government he told the buhari government he told them dialogue now dialogue now i see a young puppy this puppy is coming when the puppy is coming and it looks back there are some monsters behind the puppy the more the puppy looks back the puppy now grows some wild features please dialogue now dialogue now dialogue dialogue is the key i bet you dialogue now and the zoo government they said no they will not dialogue because they have enough the canoe in custody so there is no need to dialogue we have him in custody you see the stubbornness of nigeria because they don't think the full and about they don't think they don't reason like you human beings they are animals they assume in nam the canoe was the end all and be all of biafra they saw him as the Alpha and the Omega of Biafra. They saw him as the beginning and the end of Biafra. They all said Biafra is dead. They were clamoring that Biafra is dead. We have their leader. We spent nine million dollars. And we got him. <laughs> we got our prized targets in Kenya. Those around him, they sold him out. We got him <laughs> so if we have him why should we dialogue biafra is dead the keys to biafra is in the hands of anam the Kano. if we have him in our dss dungeon in our custody no more dialogue we shall not dialogue with anybody so they said unknown to them there was this man called simon Ekma. there was this disciple called simon Ekma. There was this man that Anam the Kano told us to listen to and share his videos because this man is coming with a new dimension. I need you to learn how to break down English. You see, the white man that brought English, it's a language. You must learn how to decipher it. You, you have to go deeper sometimes. If somebody says, listen to this man because... He is coming with a new dimension. It means the man who is speaking to you is already on a dimension speaking to you. And he now said, please listen to this new guy coming or because this guy, he is coming with a new dimension. It means he's coming with something higher than the dimension I'm speaking from. Because if the message are the same, then there is no need to listen to somebody else. If the message are the same but if the person you have been asked to listen to is coming with a new dimension you know you have the first dimension second dimension third dimension fourth dimension the fifth dimension the sixth dimension the seventh dimension where the gods they abode most of you when you buy your spirit your soul they are in the fifth or sixth dimension but the seventh dimension is where the gods they abode those that said let us make a man in our image and after our likeness they are in the seventh dimension only gods can get there the man they made was mankind mankind means a kind of a man not the real man when we made man we made man 
let us make mankind mankind you keep hearing the word mankind mankind when you go deeper you it means a kind of a man not the real man the black man is the real man is the first but i digress what i'm trying to say is enam the kind was operating on a particular dimension he saw what was to come he saw those around him will you know betray him so he had to tell us to listen to simon nekba he blessed simon and he said simon is the one coming with a new dimension and he repeated he said you must listen to simon nekba and share his videos because simon is coming with a new dimension like the story of joseph and his brothers they all got angry. The brothers, <laughs> the other disciples in this case, they got jealous of Simon Ekba. Oyendo, why Simon? Why Simon? Oyendo, we've been with you since 2012. Why did you say they should listen to Simon Ekba? Why Simon Ekba? He's a newcomer. He's a newbie. He joined this movement in 2019. If not for COVID-19, this small boy, Simon Ekpa, will not be with us. We do why Simon Ekpa. They got jealous. And this man who is speaking now with anger is one of the so-called generals of Anam the Kano. They got jealous of Simon Ekpa. Need I say more? Oh my God. I Look, I need to pat myself at the back. I'm an embodiment of knowledge. You see me? I don't forget. I was observing you guys in 2019. Thank God for COVID. If not for COVID, perhaps. I won't even know this movement existed. Because to call a spade a spade. <laughs> While Enam the Kano was speaking in 2012. I knew nothing about Nam the Kano or Nigeria. I saw Nigeria as a condemned, a shithole country, a condemned third world underdeveloping. Not underdeveloped, though. Underdeveloping. It means you are going in a spiral on the ground. I saw you like a shithole country. I washed my hands off Nigeria. I was contented to be the king I am in a foreign land. I was building the empire of the white man. I was competing with the white man. I was the best in what I did against the white man. But thank God to Simon Nekba. This man you are, you are calling a small boy now. Thank God to Simon Because when I heard Simon Nekba, I said, who is this guy? My God. During COVID-19. For the first time, I had to leave work and stay at home and work from home. I was now working virtually. Oh, yeah, boy. It means you don't have to be in the office because of the COVID rules, but you can now work from home. I was one of those that designed it for my department, how to work virtually from home. How to turn things digital. How to make your operating system to become more digital. Create a, a framework, a policy that will now support an effective operation of the work from home and for the first time i was relaxing working from home and i saw on youtube this young boy that looks like me i said who is this guy he was talking with confidence simon Ekba. i said who is this guy i'll leave it for another day i'll leave it for another day let's continue listen okay Wow. Whoa, he said, In the kind of said, I should tell you all, I'm not happy with you. And all of you, that you allow that bastard, he's calling Simon Ekpa a bastard. Hey, Simon, I'm sorry, I just have to repeat what he said. All of you listening to the instructions of that bastard in Finland. Hey, In the kind of said, I should tell you all. <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. I should tell you all, he's mad at you. Hi, God. This man who is speaking today was disgraced in court. 
He tried to go to court to say Namdekano and the siblings of Namdekano, the legal team of Namdekano, they chased this idiot away in court. But here he's speaking now because you see, sometimes you have to go back to the annals of history to check, you know, see and, you know, now bring it back to light. A few months back, he was speaking like, like this with confidence, insulting Simon Nekba. Trying to make us to deviate from believing and trusting Simon Ekba. But today, Simon Ekba has been vindicated. Today, Aloy Jimako has been vindicated. You know, oh my God, Simon, man, God. Everything you said came to pass. You said a Jofo was the eye of the Fulani Nigerian government in IPOB. And before you knew it, it came to pass. Simon Ekba, man, no, 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 no. Hey! Simon Nekba, ah, oh, God. God, have mercy. You are too much, man. You are, you are just... You are, oh, my God. Hey, let's continue. One of the crazy steps from the way you there. And finally, he said, you all should retrace your steps. It means turn around. Do a 180 degrees. Let go, Simon Nekba. Chiaria in Igbo language. Think about it. Turn around. Retrace your step back to the DOS. Retrace your step and start to support Ifanye Jofo. <laughs> hey! Lord have mercy. You see? Today, Simon Nekba has been vindicated. What you are seeing in this video, it came from the Twitter handle page, the X page of my Prime Minister. You see me? I keep all records. So when I saw this video, I said, Aha! I have an assignment. Simon Nekba has given me an assignment. It is time for me to go and do justice. So I hope, from the little I've done to this video, I've been able to break it down for you all to see what's happening. When they say an empty vessel makes the loudest noise, sometimes these guys who are shouting this way, it's because they have nothing. They are panicking, they are scared that Unam the Kano will soon be released. And once he's released, everything will be revealed. Those who set him up in Kenya will be exposed. And all those guys, they assumed the power and the key of Biafra lies solely on the hands of Unam the Kano. Unknown to them. That it was handed over to Simon Ekpa. When our leader told us to listen to Simon Ekpa, share his videos, because Simon is coming with a new dimension. I rest my case. From me, from here, for now, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I remain yours truly. Biafra, Superstars Media. God bless you. Bye-bye.